So you're faced with this problem. A rectangle has a length of 22 yards less than 7 times its width. If the area of the rectangle is 5640 or 5640 yards squared, find the length of the rectangle. Okay, so let's first examine or think about what is the, how do you calculate the area of a rectangle? So let's just draw a little rectangle here. And let's call this the width and let's call this the length. How do you find the area of the rectangle? The area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Or sometimes um, in high school you would have had base times height, but that's all the same thing, right? It's the same dimension, so it's not critical to remember that. And I, my eraser is gigantic. So. <clears throat> so how do we deal with this information over here where I have a, a length that is 22 yards less than seven times the width. Well, if this is the width, how can I represent seven times the width? Well, seven times the width would be seven W. But the length is equal to 22 yards less than seven times the width. So if that's seven times the width, 22 yards less than that would be subtract those 22 yards. So our length is equal to 7w minus 22. Our width is equal to w. So now if I go back to calculate this area, I'm going to substitute this in for length. So I get 7w minus 22. And that's going to be multiplied times this width, just w. So once I start doing the mathematics, I get the area is equal to w times 7w minus 22, and that's going to be 7w squared minus 22w. And they told us that the area was 5640. So 5640. Now remember, I want to get 0 on one side of my equation, so then when I factor this, I'm going to have independent factors. So I'm going to subtract 5640 from both sides and get 0 equals 7w squared minus 22w minus 5640. So uh, normally I would look to see if the 7 divides into 22 and 5640, but I know, it, I know 7 doesn't divide into 22. Why? If I can divide everything by 7 and get nice integers, then I make all my numbers smaller. And I could try to take 5640 and fig figure out if it is factorable, but since this lead coefficient is 7 and not 1, I'm going to take 7 times 5640 and get really, really large numbers and a lot of factors to check. So I think maybe at this point I'm going to make it a little bit easier on myself in one respect and just um, use the quadratic formula. But first, since I'm using the quadratic formula, let's identify my coefficients. a is equal to 7, b is equal to negative 22, and c is equal to negative 5640. Now, I'm going to make sure I substitute this correctly by doing the following. Copy down my quadratic formula, hopefully from memory, and then substitute those numbers in for 2a. Now, since I'm substituting, I always do this thing. Put parentheses around the variables that I'm substituting into and substitute that value inside those areas. So let's recopy this. x equals negative parentheses square root parentheses squared minus 4 parentheses parentheses all over 2 parentheses. And a is equal to, well let's just do b first, b is equal to negative 22 a is equal to 7, so a 7 goes here and a 7 goes there, and c is equal to 5640, which I'm going to run out of room, so 5640. Okay, now I'm just going to solve this quadratic formula. So this is going to be 22 plus or minus the square root of 22 squared. Okay, so that's what I was trying to do. Sorry. So 22 squared 
is 484 minus, oh, this is negative 5640. So these two negative signs will end up being positive, so I'm just going to do that. And so 4 times 7 times 5640. Now this thing might think it's did their decimals. Yep, 4 times 7 times 5640 is 157920. All of that is over 14. So 22 plus or minus the square root of 157920 plus 484. 484. Now you get 158404 over 14 and the square root of 158404. And I get 398. So that's equal to 22 plus or minus 398 over 14. That means I have two answers. I have 22 plus 398 over 14 and 22 minus 398 over 14. Hopefully we can see already that this negative number makes this an extraneous result. And so I get 22 plus 398, which is 420 over 14 and 420 divided by 14 is equal to 30. So my length is equal to 30. Is that correct? Or is my width equal to 30? Let's go back up and look. What was what were we solving for? We were solving for w. And w is equal to w. So that's actually my width. So my width is equal to 30 yards. And my length is seven is 22 less than 7 times the width. So I have to say the length is equal to 7 times the width minus 22, but I just figured out the width was equal to 30. And so if you need a calculator for that, that's fine. It'll do the, this particular app will do the order of operations for you. And so we get the length is equal to 188 yards. Hopefully that was helpful. Bye.